okay. Seemed to just bloom out of nowhere, and now it's super sunny. It's been 70 the last two days. That means that your allergies are probably gonna start acting up if you suffer from allergies like I do. Also, we're kind of on the tail end of that uh, flu and cold season, so that might complicate some symptoms. As we know, COVID-19 is kinda wreaking havoc on the world right now. And people are stressing out, that's for sure. So today I wanted to talk about when, how, and why you should work out when you're sick. So I am not a doctor. If you are experiencing symptoms that you deem out of the normal for you, you should first and foremost go and see your doctor and listen to the advice that they have to give. If you go to the doctor and they say that you are no longer contagious or you're on medication for a certain amount of time and that makes you um, ready to rock, then awesome. I say you're ready to go and work out when your symptoms are from the head or above. So uh, sore throat, that's okay to work out. Stuffy nose, that's okay to work out. Um, sinus pressure, that's okay to work out. Headache, that's okay to work out. When it's below the neck, so chest congestion, uh, stomach ache, fever, um, those are things that are not localized to your uh, upper region. So I would not work out on those things because your body is already trying to compensate and to heal itself and further stressing it by exercise is going to make things worse. So if you've gone to your doctor, they've deemed you ready to work out and your symptoms are above your head, not below, then the way that you should approach working out when you're sick is as follows. When you go in, either do half the reps or do half the time frame or go half effort, just get in there and move. You're not trying to break any records because chances are if you have sinus congestion, a sore throat, um, you have a headache, you're not gonna feel all that great anyways. And when you start to raise your rate of respiration and you need to breathe through your nose or through your mouth. That's going to make those things feel even more uncomfortable. So the point is just to get moving, to stay moving, increase some blood flow, and hopefully help cycle out everything. Not to destroy yourself, okay? So when should you work out when you're sick? You got cleared by a doctor. How should you work out when you're sick? Do half as much, half as long, or half as hard, or all three, and only when the symptoms are in a localized area being your head. So I hope that helps you out here and you are making wiser decisions when it comes to working out when sick. And for the love of God, if you are contagious, stay your ass at home. Not worth it, okay? I'll see you guys on the next one.